Hi guys and welcome to another Mr. Vapor review. Today I am reviewing the HA118EL BB gun by HFC and it's just arrived today. It's in this box. It's actually new despite the fact the box is quite battered. I think that just happened in transit. So for the first half of this video I'm going to be doing a, a close-up examination of it and listing its features and then for the second half I will be testing it out in my garden. Okay so it comes in this box uh, despite the fact that it's black and silver on the box it's actually orange and black because of the regulations about how BB guns need to be two-tone bright colors so you can tell that it's not a real gun um, it's got various warnings and random stuff on the outside and then down here there's the two versions and which one you have so I've got the EL version which basically just means the barrels longer so that means it's very slightly heavier but it's more accurate and slightly longer range in theory so taking off the lid of the box reveals the contents which is a manual of instructions so they're not particularly helpful it basically tells you what you can quite easily figure out for yourself about the safety and things like that and then all the obvious safety warnings like don't shoot people in the face um, don't load it unless you're going to shoot it and random crap like that and then inside you have the gun itself which is held down by a um, thing forgotten what they're called so i've cut that off already obviously and then in here you get a small pack of pellets so i haven't actually used them uh, because i heard that they're a bit cheap and that they don't fire straight so i bought these more expensive higher quality bulldog 20g 0.2g however you say it shots right so let's go in for a closer look Okay, so this is the HA-118EL pistol. Uh, it's one-to-one -one scale, so it's the same size as whatever gun it's meant to be a replica of, I'm not even sure. Um, because it's plastic, it's got several weights inside it, I'm not exactly sure where, but it makes, basically makes it feel a bit more solid and weighty, despite the fact it's plastic. Um, Two-tone orange and black, it's got the nice kind of black handle there. Um, it's got working safety which is there so down is on so you can't pull the trigger and up is off so you can pull the trigger um, it's got this black thing here um, moves but I'm not exactly sure what that does I think it's to do with the um, with the bullet chambering mechanism so other than the safety and the trigger obviously you've got this little wrong way around you've got that little black button there which is the mag release so pressing that makes the mag come out, almost dropped it. So the inside of the handle is obviously hollow and the mechanism is up there, but you probably can't quite see it. So the mag is thinner than a normal mag, but it's quite weighty. Inside it's got a little spring, which you can just about see. So to load it, you need to pull the spring down and into that little indent, put the triggers in, not triggers, put the ammunition in and then pull the spring back so it pings up. So once you've done that, you can slot the mag back in, which will click in automatically. And then you are pretty much ready to go. Once the safety is off and you've got ammunition in, you simply slide the mechanism back and that chambers a bullet and then you can fire. So that's pretty much it from the outside. Um, it feels fairly well made. The, the mechanism on the top, there's a little bit of give in that, so it moves a little bit. Doesn't feel like the best quality, but it definitely doesn't feel like the worst either. It's kind of a mid-range one for 25 quid. You get what you pay for. Um, I will show its performance aspects outside in the firing test, which I will do in a minute. So other than that, it's a good looking gun, good weight, fits in your hand nicely. So visually it's pretty good and it comes fairly well packaged. But a lot of people did recommend buying a better quality ammunition because apparently the ones that come with it aren't that good quality. So it takes 0.2 G, 0.2 G, 0.2 grams, I don't know what the scale is or anything. So I've filled up the mag with bullets now. The spring is in that little indent there, so I simply pull the spring out and let it ping up. One bullet's just fallen out, I'm not sure quite how that happened, but all the bullets are now in the mag. They're not all in a straight line and neatly arranged, but it doesn't matter because each time one fires, they all shift up and they'll correct themselves before they come to be fired. Okay, so now on to the shooting test. Okay, so I'm going to shoot the cider cans from about 
couple of feet away, not really that long distance. This is just a test. Um, and then I'll do a longer distance shoot. So here's the gun fully loaded and yeah, let's do it. Well, I didn't shoot that one. So obviously one of them blew over in the wind, but this one I shot twice and the second time I knocked it over with the bullet. Um, it, that's the biggest downfall of the gun is its power so it's accurate enough to hit a can and when I first got it and fired my first few rounds I hit one of these cans from about 15 feet away um, so it's accurate for about that distance but when you get to about 20 25 feet the bullets start to drop off so it will be considerably harder to hit anything its biggest downfall is its power it's really not that powerful I mean I managed to just about knock that empty can over but from any further distance than that it wouldn't even knock the can over it would just wobble it a bit so it's not a powerful gun it's fine for target practice but not if you're hoping to cause any destruction with it Okay, so now I'm just going to shoot the cans again from pretty much the same distance, but this time in a slightly different format so you can see from a different view. If I can get the camera to lean up successfully. Yeah, that's alright. Not sure if you can see me, but those are the cans down there. So that shot went about a couple of centimetres over the can. Hit. Hit. Miss to the left very slightly. Hit. hit and kill <laughs> and that was it that's the end of the clip so overall the HA 118 EL does seem like a pretty good gun um, it's got nice styling nice and weighty and realistic looking it's fairly accurate and it's got average power so if you're just looking for a gun to kind of play about with and do a bit of target practice outdoors or indoors even then it's probably a pretty good gun for you if you're looking for something with more power to take down proper targets or use in competitions then this probably isn't something for you but if you're on a low budget and looking for a nice gun then this is a fairly good choice in my opinion I'd probably give it maybe a seven seven and a half out of ten um, and that's about it for my review if there's any questions you have about it anything about the packaging or its features then feel free to drop a comment or message me and I will help you out that's it for now bye guys